Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm in a very, very good mood this morning. It is currently Friday morning and I've got a really fun day planned. I'm actually heading to Gunwolf Keys today, which I'm really, really looking forward to with my mum and my sister. We've decided to take the day off work, to have a bit of a girl's day and do a bit of shopping. I feel like I've not been to Gunwolf in ages and I absolutely love Gunwolf Keys. If you don't know what Gunwolf Keys is, if you live anywhere down south around kind of like Hampshire area, um, Crawley area, uh, even like Sussex, you can easily get to it from Sussex. It is a designer outlet store that we have down here in the south. I'm a little bit further away from Bicester than I used to be. It's, this is kind of like my local designer outlet store now and it is an amazing shopping centre, like a really, really great shopping centre. It has everything you want in a designer outlet shopping centre. I believe it's like a privately owned one, a bit like Bicester. I know that there's a few like McCarthy Glens around the UK. It's not anything like that. I believe it's privately owned. Um, or not like a chain or anything like that, but it's got like Ralph Lauren, it's got the White Company, it's got loads of sports shops actually, it's got loads of like Nikes, Under Armour, um, Adidas, stuff like that, it's also got Coach, Kate Spade, what else, Sunglass Hut, Cosmetic Company, Reese, French Connection, there are just so many stores, so many stores that I absolutely love it. So we decided to have a girls shopping day and we're going to head to Gunworth Keys, which I'm really, really looking forward to. Oh, one I can't believe I forgot to mention is Ugg. I'm definitely gonna make a beeline for Ugg because I'm really wanting to add a new pair into my wardrobe this winter. And I feel like if I can get them at the designer outlet for a little bit of a cheaper price, I will be really, really happy because I would say the Uggs are definitely worth the price, like they're worth the investment, but if you can get them for a little bit of a discount, it's always, always worth doing that. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to today. I'm actually going quite casual with my outfit today. I've gone for a pony, which I feel like I have not done a pony in so long. I've got quite a slick, sleek pony because I had my hair straight yesterday. Although I always find that like, my layers always kind of seem to go to one side, but you know, here we are. So I've gone for a slick back pony in terms of makeup. I've just done my usual. I haven't fake tanned again. I've actually kind of not been fake tanning as much recently. So I'm feeling rather pale at the moment. So I used today just, it's the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the shade Yukon, which is like my non-fake tan pale winter shade. But I really like this. It's like a really nice natural, but still fairly full coverage foundation. I really, really like it. And then on my lips, of course, I've got NARS Orgasm, which honestly is just my favorite, especially if it's cold outside. I must say, now that we are going into autumn, winter, I'm really having to like switch up my makeup, my skincare, like my lip products and stuff like that for things that are much more moisturizing, much better in terms of like not drying, not mattifying. Like they really help keep my skin moisturized throughout the day. And I just realized I haven't put my perfume on. Of course, I am going to be using my Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia. This is honestly just my favorite perfume at the moment. So it's kind of just my everyday. And what I really like about the Jo Malone perfumes is they're very, very easy to like layer up. You can add lots of different scents together. This is kind of basically my everyday base layer. And then what I can do is like, if I want something a little bit different, I can add to it. Like this goes really, really well with Peony and Blush Suede. I really love those paired together. For something a little bit deeper and a little bit more like sultry, Wood, Sage and Sea Salt goes so, so beautifully. And then for something maybe a little bit more kind of like lighter toned, I really love the, um, oh, what's it? I'm just trying to remember the name of all of them, honestly. Scarlet Poppy, I really like this. This is a limited edition packaging. I really like that for something a little bit more kind of like, floral and feminine i think that's really really nice so yeah heading to gunworth this morning i thought i would take you guys along with me for a nice girls shopping day we can have a look and hopefully pick up some bargains together i'll show you my outfit of the day as well because as i said i've gone fairly casual today it's just an easy friday shopping with the girls so i'm not too dressed up so outfit of the day i'm going for stripes today this is a little karen millen number it's a little bit old but i'll see if i can find something similar and link it down below but i really love just like a classic stripey jumper i feel like there is nothing more classic but still like elevated i really really love how this looks especially paired with my burberry trench you just get especially if i tie it up you just get that pop of stripe coming out which i think is just so elegant i'm not actually wearing a necklace because i think the stripes kind of do the talking i've gone for gold studs today because we've got the gold buttons 
on the, the roll neck. So I quite liked the like gold paired together. You guys know I'm loving my studs at the moment. So these Pandora studs, I am absolutely obsessed with and I love how the golds kind of pair together. I've of course got gold on my bag as well. I'm gonna be using my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. This is definitely my favorite bag when it comes to like girls shopping days. I have trialed and errored with lots of different bags. Obviously, I've got lots in my collection. Um, and one thing I will say about this bag is it's perfect because it's crossbody. And I do find that when I'm having a girl's shopping day, the last thing I want is a bag that I have to hold or like have on the crook of my arm. I want to be able to sling it over my body not have to think about it and it's also quite a lightweight bag as much as I love like my Chloe over here is one of my favorites it's a really gorgeous crossbody bag as well but it's very heavy it's got loads of hardware and it makes it a really heavy bag whereas this isn't a heavy bag so I don't find that I've got like an aching shoulder by the end of the day which I always think is just the worst thing in the world when you've just got such an achy shoulder and you're just like oh get this bag off of me especially when you're carrying lots of shopping bags around as well and then I'm actually going for leggings which is not the most me um but as I said one to just be super cash and super comfy so i've got my favorite duo boots on with a pair of black i believe these might be varley leggings i think i will link them down below um they're not petite so i just kind of tuck them into socks and into my boots um but i really love this as an outfit i think especially with the coat done up and like cinched in it's so so beautiful and it's quite it's a little bit chilly this morning it's not too cold where i am but one thing i will say about gum keys is it's in portsmouth and it's right on the coast like literally right by the river right by the sea um if you know where the spinnaker tower is it's like really close to that so it is windy and it is cold. <laughs> so whenever I go, I always feel like whenever I look at what the temperature is, basically drop it by about two to three degrees when you're dressing accordingly because it always feels so much colder when you're there. It is so windy, so blowy, so breezy, and I'm always, always freezing when I go. I find it's at least two to three degrees colder than wherever I come from <laughs> or what even the temperature says it's gonna be. Like it's always about two, three degrees colder just because of the wind chill and the fact that it's right on the coast. So I wanted to dress quite warm today. I'm debating whether to bring my jacket and a scarf, but I don't think I'll need a scarf today. Maybe I'll take it in the car with me, just in case. I mean, it is seriously a vibe with this outfit. Honestly, out of all the designer scarves, I'm so glad I waited until I found one that was like perfect and like very me. Obviously I've got my Burberry one as well, but in terms of like these thick, you know, um, very kind of like monogrammed, you know, you've got like the words on, these thick wool scarves. I've seen loads about, obviously you've got like the acne ones, the totem ones, but they just never felt that me. And I'm so glad I waited until I saw one that I was so obsessed with because this Jacquemus scarf is the cozy comfiest thing ever so I think I'll bring this with me just in case I can always leave it in the car if I get too warm because the car park at Gunwolf is literally just underneath the shopping center so I can always run it back to the car if I'm too warm in it or I can go and grab it if I want to leave it in there so yeah outfit of the day ready for a girl's day shopping so let's get going to Gunwolf Keys well it is a beautiful sunny day here in Portsmouth don't think I need a scarf but glad that I have laid up because it is chilly here in Portsmouth but I think we're going to head straight to the White Company which is just my holy grail whenever I come here to do some shopping. Probably grab a coffee in a bit, have a bit of a wonder. It's not too busy because we always try and come in as early as possible. It's always my best advice when it comes to any designer outlet. Vista Village, come with keys, like anywhere that you go try and head here as early as possible because it always just gets busier and busier the later it gets on in the day but let's go to the White Company and do some shopping.
these into Carl Walker Chocolate so I know what stores normally are and what aren't. So let's head and see what's inside. of jumpers in Ralph Lauren. Excuse the lighting, this damn lighting is not a vibe maybe for me back a bit. Um, what do we think of this jumper? It's a cashmere, like 100% cashmere jumper. It's the softest thing in the world and I love the colour of it. It's currently reduced to 90 and I think it's really lovely but I'm just debating how much wear I would get out of it. Um, but I love the tone, I love the fact that the actual Ralph Lauren logo is like the same kind of colour. I think it's really lovely. I also picked it up in the gorgeous forest green colour and I'm kind of I'm obsessed with this as well. It's a bit more like androgynous masculine in the colour but oh, what do we think? I really like it. I'm just not sure how much wear I'm going to get out of it. It's really undecided. I'm so, oh this is so hard because it's not like I can just order it later. Like if I don't pick it up now I'm not going to get another chance. I'm really unsure. Ah, oh, guys, they've got the same one, but in a roll neck, and you know how I feel about a roll neck. Oh, this is stunning. It's a little bit high and a little bit tight, but there we go. I can just roll it down another. How much is this? This is 100 out there price. Oh, that is beautiful. I'm in love with that. <laughs> I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby Well, I think it is safe to say that I had a rather successful trip at a gum wharf at Keys My goodness have I done some damage? Literally so much damage to my debit card. But they had some really, really great things in stock. One thing I will say when it comes to like designer outlets, they can be a little bit hit or miss. And I find that with any designer outlet, whether that's Bista or Gumworth or anywhere that you go, because it's completely dependent on like the season, what's in stock, whether you're mid-season, end of season, like all of that jazz. But I found that Gumworth had so many great pieces. I would definitely recommend heading over there, especially if you're looking to start your Christmas shopping. Clarence already had their like Christmas gifting in. Loads of the shops had, you know, some really lovely seasonal gifts. I mean, Lynn had their advent calendars. I managed to pick up lots of gorgeous pieces. And one thing that they have as well, which I've noticed in a lot of shops, particularly UGG, 
it's not always necessarily outlet pieces. They have a lot of like new stock, new season items, which I think is so great. And one thing I will say, if you have been looking to get your hands on the Ugg Tamsins, I think they're called the Tamsins, the ones that like look like slippers but you can wear outside, everyone is going nuts for them. They have sold out everywhere. They are in stock in the Ugg store in Gunwolf Keys, which is insane. And they're just like normal price, normal, you know, new season item. So whilst we're here, I thought I would start with what I picked up from Ugg. I thought I'd show you everything that I got from Gunwolf because I got some really, really great items. Now, I could have gone ham and Ugg, and I'm really proud of myself that I didn't. I was so, so tempted by the Ultra Minis in the camel color. They had quite a few different colors of the Ultra Minis, but I actually restrained myself because I am very much the kind of person that I really look into cost per wear, and whether something is like, you know, going to get its cost per wear, which if, if you don't know what that means, I speak about it a lot, but basically if I buy a 100 pound coat, if I wear it 100 times, that's a one pound cost per wear. And obviously the Uggs are a little bit higher price pointed and they are an investment piece. And because I already have my dark brown ones, I felt like I couldn't really justify picking up the camel as well because there wouldn't ever really be a time that I would wear the camel over the brown. Like I love the brown ones. I wear them so much when I'm like running errands, you know, when I've just got like leggings on and just want to nip out of the house. And I didn't really find that I could find a time where like I would wear the camel ones instead of the brown. So I didn't pick those up. I did actually pick up something though, which is rather unconventional to get from Ugg. I feel like you guys are gonna be a little bit surprised. I didn't even know that they did these, but I picked up a robe, which honestly, I saw this as we were heading out the shop and I just stopped in my tracks because I was like, that is gorgeous. And it is the softest, coziest robe I have ever, ever felt. Now, if you know me, you'll know I love my robes. I have so many in my collection now. I've literally lost count. It is actually a little bit of a problem, but I like having different robes for different like occasions and different reasons. Like I've got my really thick, fluffy ones when I want something like really cozy in the evening when I'm getting all snug. I want ones that are maybe a little bit lighter if I'm just like heading down for a coffee and I just need to shove something over my jammies, you know, and I'm like having breakfast. I want some that are like maybe a little bit thicker. I've got fake town ones. I've got like so many different ones. And this one I feel like is a great one to add into my collection because it's kind of like a mid thickness it's not too thick but it's not too thin and let me tell you this is the softest fleeciest lining i've ever felt in my entire life i am in love with this it is so cozy and so soft i am just absolutely obsessed and this was actually from the like final reductions sale rail so it was reduced to 80 pounds not entirely sure what it is full price i might see if i can find it online and link something similar for you guys but i picked it up in a large because i like my robes to be nice and like oversized because you can cinch them in and you know it's better to be too big than too small so that was actually the item that i got from Ugg, which i don't think anyone would have been able to guess considering that i was trying on all the shoes and all the slippers and i came away with a robe but you never know what you're gonna get in an outlet i always say that you don't tell gunwolf what you want Gone Wolf tells you. Next, I have some bits from the White Company. I've got a huge bag back here because I actually picked up some wrapping paper, which is probably super random and not the kind of thing you would expect me to come home from the White Company for. And literally, bless her, she was like, I'm so sorry, but this is the only bag I have that will fit that wrapping paper. So I was walking around with this huge, massive bag all day. Um, but I picked up two wrapping papers, which were reduced to, they're normally eight pounds and they were reduced to two pounds 40 which is an insane saving. And you guys know that my theme at Christmas is red and gold. I love having a theme. And when it comes to wrapping, I like to have a theme. Last year was very like, um, what's that? Like, the, you know, the, the brown paper and I would like do little bows and stuff like that. But I thought it might be really cute to do like a white and red theme and have that under the tree because it would go really, really well with my tree theme as well. And what I could do is I can do white bows with the red paper and then red bows with the white paper. And I thought that would just be so adorable. They've just got like little stars. One of them says love, wish, joy, which this one actually I don't think necessarily is a Christmas wrapping paper. You could probably use this for like christenings or like weddings or anything. Um, so yeah, picked up two of those. And I also picked up from the white company, which when I saw this, I was like, ah! oh my goodness, this is in the outlet store. It is the mistletoe reed diffuser. And if you know me, you'll know I love my white company reed diffusers when it comes to Christmas scents. I love having seasonal scents in the home. I just find it so important to make sure that your home is really reflective of like your surroundings and the seasons. And I spend the vast majority of my time at home. So I like it to smell nice. Uh, I think these must be from last year because this was reduced to 20 pounds, which is so, so good because they're normally 30 
8.39 I think the full size diffuser so it's basically 50% off which is amazing so it must be left over from last year and they only had about three or four out on the shop floor um so I picked that up and what I really like about mistletoe as a scent it's festive but it's not too festive like I feel like it's not you know like massively cinnamony or spicy or it's not you know like the winter scent or anything like that it's not too Christmassy so this is one that I could definitely get out in November and start to get into the festive spirit this is cedar spruce and amber which is just so lovely it says here the captivating fragrance is beautifully enhancing bursting with the notes of aromatic spruce woody cedar sweet moo moo guet and rich amber a sparkling scent to celebrate the festive season i love it so i'm so excited to get that out so keep your eyes peeled on all of the vlogs coming up because we are going to start getting a little bit festive around here around the house I then picked some, some bits from Rituals, which I didn't go ham in Rituals. I didn't get too much. And these are probably going to be the most boring thing that I could have ever picked up from Rituals. But let me tell you, they will change your life. The Rituals Read Diffusers. Read Diffusers? No, they're not. The Rituals Hand Sanitizers. These are the best hand sanitizers in the world. I'm so sick of bad smelling hand sanitizers. Oh. They just smell absolutely incredible. And I always sanitize my hands before I eat or like, you know, if I'm grabbing a coffee or anything where I'm like, you know, I know my hands are gonna be near my face. And there's nothing worse than hand sanitizing with something that smells really bad and then spending the rest of the day smelling it like when you eat and like things like that. So this is the Rituals of Sakura, which honestly I just can't stop smelling it. It's the best scent. I love it so, so much. They also have the Rituals of Samurai. They have, I believe, the Rituals of Karma. They have a few other scents, so I'm sure that these will also be available online. I can't remember how much they were, but I don't think they're too expensive, and they are so great to keep in your handbag. Every time I lend someone some hand sanitizer, I always get asked, oh my goodness, where is this from? I need this hand sanitizer, because they just smell absolutely incredible. I then went to the cosmetic store, which I really, really love. They have so many brands there. They've got like MAC, Estee Lauder, Clinique, Jo Malone, um, so many, so many. And I actually saw a couple of Jo Malone books that I wanted to pick up. So first of all, I picked up a hand and body lotion, which I would never normally pay the full price with these. As much as I love my lovely scents and I love Jo Malone, I do find that they are very, very spendy, but to be able to get an outlet price, so normally it is £45 and at the outlet price is £33.75. And this is Lime Basil and Mandarin, which is such a classic scent. I couldn't believe it was in the outlet because I don't find that they normally reduce this scent. Normally it's like the limited edition ones, the ones that may be going out of stock. This they will always have. So you'll be able to still find this in like John Lewis stores and Joe Malone stores full price. Yeah, I managed to get it at the outlet price. Maybe I should have picked up more, but I thought I would just get one of those because that can sit in the bathroom. And then the other thing I picked up is the Joe Malone reed diffuser, which they do also come with reeds. Uh, and this is again, lime basil and mandarin, which I just thought was so lovely. And I've never actually put up Joe Malone reed diffuser in my home. I normally go for the white company ones, but the Joe Malone ones are so special and so strong. Like they're a bit more spenny, but oh my goodness, they are gorgeous. And this is normally 66 pounds and was reduced to £49.50. Such an amazing saving. And again, such a classic scent, so I couldn't believe that I was able to get my hands on that. And then lastly, I think I have saved the best until last. And you'll probably have been spotting this in the corner of the video. I went into Penhaligon's, which is a shop I've never actually shopped in before. I've always loved their perfume. They smell absolutely incredible. I've really, really enjoyed the scents, but I've never picked up anything myself. So I had a little wonder in, and I treated myself to something which I'm very, very excited about. Can we just appreciate the little hanky that they give you for the bag? It's just so adorable. Oh, they wrap them so nicely. I feel so bad. I'm doing all of their hard work. But, of course, I have to show you what I picked up. And when I say the prices in Penhaligon's were insane in terms of outlet prices, hang on, I'm going to unwrap these so you don't get the annoying, crinkly noise. So when I tell you the outlet prices are insane, I'm not joking. The perfumes, I think are normally like 280 They were about 120 at the outlet. And the creams, body lotions, and hand washes were less than 50%. I think they're normally 80 pounds each i managed to pick up two for 40 and honestly i am so excited to put these out in my kitchen so i picked up the blenheim bouquet which is such an iconic scent i can literally smell it now because they've sprayed the entire bag with this scent which i honestly find so special i love it when brands do that and they package them up so so beautifully so they're just a really lovely like 
quite floral but they're not like summer floral i felt like it was quite an autumnal floral scent and i really really liked them and i mean just look at that that on my kitchen sink Oh, I love it so, so much. There's nothing more special. So I think this would make a really great Christmas present as well. If you know someone that loves their maybe hand washes or loves Penhaligons and you want to get something that's maybe a little bit more affordable, you know, you didn't quite have the budget for the perfumes or anything like that. This is a great way to introduce them to the brand or treat them to something really, really special that I think a lot of people probably wouldn't treat themselves to like it is a lot of money to spend on a hand lotion and hand wash but it is so special every time i wash my hands they're gonna smell absolutely amazing and i'm just gonna smile because this is the most beautiful hand lotion and hand soap i have ever ever owned so i really wasn't joking when i said that that was a very very successful shopping trip we spent hours there we had a really lovely lunch i definitely recommend heading to cafe rouge i really love going to cafe rouge in gun wharf it's like a really just like lovely easy vibe especially if you're just going for a bit of a girl's shopping day but i hope you guys enjoyed coming with me and seeing what i picked up i will try and link down below what i can if there's anything available online if not definitely get yourself down to Gumworth Keys because they have so many gorgeous pieces. But I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, I would love it if you hit it now. It would be really nice to know that you want to come back and see more videos from me. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.